Praise the Lord. Destiny is calling, calling you. Destiny is calling and waiting just for you. We give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and we thank God for that selection coming from Evangelist Collada Davis from North Carolina. We're grateful to know that the destiny is calling, calling you. Destiny is calling and waiting just for you. And we thank God for his destiny and his predestination for our lives. We give honor to everyone that have tuned in to the Word Ministries hosted by yours truly. I am Pastor Billy Bedford, and we thank God for you tuning in. We thank God for all the affiliates at WOIL TV 47 located in the Marble City of Sylacauga, Alabama. We thank God for them bringing these programs to you, and we thank God for this uh, broadcast, and we're just grateful to you. The program today goes out to all the sick, the shut-in, to those in the hospitals and nursing homes. Our prayers are with you. Our prayers are for you. We pray for the sick everywhere. We pray for everyone in this world that the will of God be done. I can hear him saying, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will we hear from heaven, and he will heal the land and forgive their sin. Thank God. May we ever turn to the Lord in times like these. We're truly thankful. We're truly grateful for the goodness and the mercy and the blessings of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. If you desire prayer, call that number that is under the bottom of your screen. We would love to pray with you, pray for you, just converse with you. Praise the name of God. The Bible says, for two or three of you are gathered together in my name, touching and agreeing that there am I in the midst. So, amen. If you desire prayer, just call that number that is under the bottom of your screen. Amen. Prayer, amen, is a way, amen, that we can, amen, connect with God. Amen. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. He says, when you pray, believe, amen, and you shall receive. And whatever you ask in my name, Jesus said, that will I do. Abide in me and my word in you. You can ask what you will, and it shall be done. Praise the name of God. Is any sick among you? Amen. Let them call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Amen. And God will raise them up. We thank God. We, we serve a God that hear and answer prayer. Amen. If we call him, amen, and believe on him, amen, we can have, amen, whatsoever we say. Let us go to the throne of grace in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, with bowed heads and humbled hearts, we stand before you as an empty pitcher before a full fountain. We come, O oh God, thanking you, Lord, for your loving kindness and for your multitude of tender mercies. We thank you right now, God, for a reasonable portion of life, health, and strength. Thanking you, O oh God, for things in life being as well as they are. We thank you, O oh God, as we come to you, realizing that without you, we can do nothing. With you, all things are possible. With bowed heads and numbered hearts, we present your people before you. We cast all of our cares upon you, for you care for us. We give you our problems. We give you our burdens. We give you our situations. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we lift our eyes to the hills from which come our help. Our help comes from the Lord, which made the heaven and earth. Oh God, we pray, Lord, those that are sick in their bodies, we pray, oh God, that you will touch them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Those that are caring for loved ones that are sick, we pray, oh God, a healing. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare that by your stripes, 
we are healed. In Jesus' name, you are Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our God that healeth thee. Lord, you sent your word, and your word healed them. In the name of Jesus, let the words that I speak today be healing words, be delivering words. By the foolishness of preaching on mankind's say, we thank you right now, God. We ask that you give us preaching power. Give us the anointing, O oh God, that will destroy every yoke. We pray, O oh God, for souls to be saved, bodies to be be healed, set free, and deliver, and we will give you on your name all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise belong to you. We thank you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank God. Amen. Today we're going to the book of Romans, chapter 8. And we're going to begin our reading at verse number 35. Again, that is Romans chapter 8. Begin reading at verse number 35. There you will find these words recorded. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. We want to take our context uh, subject from verse 37 that reads, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Amen. We want to talk to you from this subject. You were made to conquer everything that life presents you. You were made to conquer everything that life presents you. Amen. We are more than conquerors. Amen. In the eyes of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, when we give ourselves over to him. He made us. Amen. And when he made us, he made us in a way that we in due time could conquer everything that life presents us. To conquer is to successfully, amen, overcome a problem or weakness. And we have, in this life, we're going to have some problems. We're going to have some weaknesses along the way. But I want you to be encouraged to know that you were made to conquer everything that life presents you. Man, how can you say that, brother pastor, that I'm made to conquer everything that life presents me when I'm going through so much, when I've been through so much, and when I'm facing so much right now? Amen. You were made to conquer everything that life presents you. Amen. Because we serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. One that angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Our God is an awesome God. Amen. From heaven above, he reigns. And because he reigns, because he's mighty, you were made to conquer everything that life presents you. 
and life will present you some trying times. Life will present you some trouble sometimes, amen, but yet and still, amen, you were made to conquer everything that life presents you, and life will present us some things. Job said, a man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. Amen. Yet, in spite of the trouble, amen, you were made to conquer everything that life presents you. Because God is our refuge. The reason why you can conquer is because God is our refuge. And God is our strength. Amen. You may be in trouble right now. Amen. But you're going to conquer everything that life is presenting you. Amen. Because God is not only our refuge and strength, he is a very present help in trouble. Amen. I decree and I declare, amen, that you can conquer everything that life presents you. You have been through many afflictions. You're going through some afflictions in your body right now. Amen. You're going through some, some afflictions in your life right now. Amen. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but you can conquer everything that life presents you. Reason I say that is amen, because amen, God, amen, deliver them out of them all. Everything that you go through, amen, praise the name of God, amen, God, amen, is always there declaring I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. You can conquer everything that life presents you because God is always with you, always, even until the end of the world. You can conquer you can successfully overcome every problem and every weakness, amen, that, that presents you in life. Amen. We first must understand that in this life, we're not going to go through this life on flowery beds of ease. You're going to go through some things. Amen. Jesus said in the world, you're going to have tribulations. Amen. But in spite of the tribulation, you can conquer everything that life presents you. Jesus said you're going to have tribulation in the world, but he said we could be of good cheer because he has overcome the world. Amen. What overcomes the world with us? E even our faith. Amen. If we have faith as a grain of mustard seed, amen, you can conquer everything that life presents you. Amen. But if you got the faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you can speak to mountains, tell mountains to move and go yonder place. Doubt not in your heart, but believe those things which you say shall come to pass. You shall have whatsoever you say. Amen. It takes faith to overcome everything that life presents you. Now, how do I get faith, brother pastor? Now, Romans 10, 17 says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Good God Almighty, amen, it is through faith, amen, that Enoch was translated, amen, that he did not see death, amen, through faith, Abraham conquered, through faith, David conquered, through faith, Moses conquered, amen, it is through faith, you can conquer, you can conquer your situation, you can conquer your situation your circumstances. Uh, why? Because we serve a God that is able, uh, that is able to save to the uttermost uh, all that come to him by faith. Uh, he's able uh, to keep you from falling uh, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory uh, with exceeding joy. Uh, you can conquer uh, 
everything that life presents you huh, because he's able huh, to do exceeding huh, abundantly above huh, all uh, huh, that we ask, uh, huh, all uh, huh, that we think uh, huh, according to the power uh, huh, that worketh in us. Uh, you can conquer uh, everything uh, that life presents you. Praise the name of God. Even persecution. You mean in this life, after I give my life to Christ, I'm still going to face some persecution? Well, the Bible says in 1 Timothy 3.12 that he that will live godly in this world, amen, shall suffer persecution. Persecutions will come. Trials will come. Burdens will come. Amen. But you can conquer everything that life presents you. Jesus said in the gospel according to Matthew, amen, chapter 11, verse 28. Uh, Jesus said, come unto me, all that labor, uh, all of you that are heavy laden, uh, and I will uh, give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me, for I am meek and I am lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. You can conquer everything that life presents you because Jesus said, my yoke is easy. Hard for you. Hard yoke for you to carry. Hard yoke for you to go through. But my yoke is easy. And my burden, heavy for you, but for Jesus, my burden is light. You can conquer everything. Amen. The life present you. Satan brings things. Amen. Hoping to break you down. He come to wear out the saints. But Jesus come to lift up the saints. Jesus come to equip the saints. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. The devil is that thief that John talks about that come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And through those three things, he desire you to give up. He desire for you to throw your hands up and say, what's the use? Amen. His desire is that you not conquer what life presents you. But Jesus said, I am come that you might have life, that you might have it more abundantly. You can overcome everything that life presents you. Satan want to separate you from God. Praise the name of God. But I want you to turn notice on him today that he's a liar. He's the father of lies. And that there is no truth in him. He's that the deceiver of the world. Amen. That would deceive the very elect if it were possible. Amen. But we serve a God. Amen. That, amen. That says he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. We can conquer because we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You can conquer everything that life presents you. Paul was asking a question. The question was, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? See, when we love him with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our soul, and with all our strength, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? When you love your neighbor as yourself, who shall separate us from the love 
of Christ. But, bro, preacher, you don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I'm going through. But what I do know is that Romans 8, 28 says, that, For we know that all things work together to the good of them that love God, to them that are the call according to his purpose. Whom he foreknew, he did, amen, predestined to be conformed to the image of his firstborn son. Whom he predestined, he called. Whom he called, he also justified. Whom he justified, he also glorified. Paul asked a question and said, what shall we say to these things? Predestined, called, justified, glorified. What shall we say to these things? Answer, if God be for us, who can be against us? Jesus, who spared not his own son, but delivered him up, delivered him up for us all. When he died for one, he died for all. When he made us in his likeness, in his image, he breathed into us the breath of life when we became a living soul, a living soul that will forever be loved by God. Hey Amen. We did not make ourselves. He made us. Praise the name of God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and we are the sheep of his pasture. When he made us, he made us. He made us fearfully. We are fearfully and we are wonderfully made by God. By a God that will forever love us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. He did not send him, amen, for us to not conquer. He did not send him to, con to condemn us. God sent his son into the world. <clears throat> not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. You were made to conquer everything that life present you. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril all sword. All sword. As it is written, for thy sake. He does it for your sake. He does it for my sake. He does it for our sake. We are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. But nay, in all these things, huh? that's why I say we were made to conquer everything that life present you. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. But nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Not through our goodness, not through our education, not through our financial status. We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. And he loved you right now. Amen. God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. When we were yet without strength in due time, 
Christ died for the ungodly. Who shall separate us from the love of God? I'm persuaded, Paul said, that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present. That's what I'm facing right now. Nor things to come. What's on down the road? I don't have to worry about tomorrow. I may not know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds tomorrow. I don't, may not know what's to come. I may not know what the future, but I do know who holds the future. Amen. Who shall separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord? not height. Nothing shall be able to separate us. Amen. Because we were made to conquer everything that life present you. The enemy is coming at you. Devil is at you. He's on your track trying to turn you back. But be encouraged to know that greater is he that is within you than he that is within the world. He's throwing everything at you but the kitchen sink. Even if he throw the kitchen sink, Isaiah 54, 17 says, there is no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Be encouraged to hang in there. Praise the name of God. Be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Hold on. Have you not known, have you not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he fainteth not, neither gets weary. He gives power to the faint. To them that have no might, he increases their strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. Young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. Amen. Wait on him. God bless you. God keep you is my prayer.